we were just checking out some spots that I grew up and it's funny that I look back at this spot right here. This literally used to be right here. But it, over time it broke. Look at this, the run up is broken. It's kind of crazy. So back in the day, the things that went down for me were pop shove it. Backside flip was the worst one, honestly. When I backside flip, this is how it went down. Like t I tic tac back and I counted it. Like, I counted it because I was just skating for like two years already. And I was like, dude, that was the hardest thing in my life. It was orange grip tape. One of the cooler ones was tray flip. I should probably just tail drop it for fun. <laughs> so which way did you roll it to it? Straight? Like coming? No, the fence was always here. Cause okay. this was also my bus stop, so. Okay. So it was just the straight yeah, that's you broken up right like here. This. Okay. And then just tray flipped it. And then just go off. Like it would end right here. That's a cool little spot. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, literally, this is one of the spots that I grew up on, and time just destroyed it. Diamonds are formed over time. Yeah. I don't see no diamond. <laughs> <laughs> the diamonds you on bro now. <laughs> True. Oh. oh formed it. <laughs> That's crazy. This right here, this is my first two stair. Honestly, nothing went down except for like a cannonball. So let's recreate that. <laughs> Was this uh, parking block always here? This parking block curb used to be over here. And this used to be a gap. So where you just went through here and went over the parking block. Okay. It's yep. kind of crazy how a lot of things change over time. And this is another one. They made a gap out of it. Maybe I should film something for my part. For real, just to pay homage to the old spot? Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. I remember being so hyped that I went down a two stair and it was just a cannonball. So, it's really awesome. Heck yeah. All right, this, we, these are like literally beginner, beginner. Let's go to some of the ones that literally kind of shaped more of my skating. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. All right, this is one of the streets I grew up on. I used to skate. Uh, we just passed it, but it was on it was on Mount Vernon. There's this little store that I would skate to, and I would skate this street every day, trying to learn how to kickflip. When I first learned how to, when I was first learning how to skate, and it's right here. These apartments right here. These pink ones? Yeah, these pink ones. They they used to be like beige, I think. Start right here, right here, right here. So we lived in this apartment, and I would just skate right here in the front, and on the side, in that, in that alley, yeah. that alleyway, I would skate right there. This curb right here was a big spot of mine. This me, curb? Me and Cuddles, Cuddles used to live <laughs> right there. Remember him? Yeah. We would skate this little curb right here, and try to ollie off it, and we waxed the curb in front of his house, and try to skate it. Did, did the wax, like, when you waxed the curb, did it work? Dude, it didn't work, but I would be at school like, oh man, like when I get out of school, I'm a 50-50 that, and I would just think about it, and like visualize it in my head, like I'm a 50-50. I'm a I remember he ended up quitting, quitting skating, and I I came back and I was like, bro, I trade flipped the five, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or Where's like, that Jeremy at? I was like, bro, like, I got we need, it. We need you back <laughs> at, that, at that level. That five stair right there literally changed my life. I, I did so much off that. I remember, I think, I don't know if you were here, Jeremy, but I think one night I did a uh, switch big heel. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, you switch very hilled it, switch big hilled it. Ollied up it. It was yeah. sketch. The ollie was kind of sketch, but I, I went up it. Yeah. Like, and that was the hardest thing because you have to go up a curb. So like, I ran, yeah. sat down on the curb. There's the curb right there. And then like, with the small amount of time to set up, I ollied up it. And not only that, we would board side the kink back to back. Me and Kiki would just board side the kink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that was my favorite kink set. Hander. Got the six hundred with the kink. 
You used to front board this on the way home from Odyssey, like yeah. when you, your first front, sponsor. Yeah, I used to front board this all the time. Like I'd come back from. So the he would just be mobbing down this street, Mount Vernon, and then just be mobbing on his way home, and then just go front board the handrail and then keep dipping home. So that's, you remember that, huh? Yeah. This is before like Heritage Park, the plastic park that is up the street. Before that was made, yeah. Literally, we had no skate park, and we would just skate. We this. would skate the six day or the five non-stop, mainly. The five, this six. I remember it like my first uh, kick flip a six day was right here. I told Bryson to film it. I was like, Bryson, I'm gonna try it. Like, and I would, I would just, di I did like a hundred kick flips, like rolling back and forth, flat ground, going fast, like a bunch of them. Every single try, just kick flip, kick flip, kick flip, and then after I felt comfortable, I ollied this, and then I like kick flip did like first try. Yeah. <laughs> I I think this is also where I first uh, officially met Jeremy too. Like, oh yeah, probably yeah. This is where we met. Like I think I was trying 50-50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like also a really big flag on area. So like as you can. Oh, see. Oh yeah, yeah, we would play a skate right here <laughs> every day after school. Every just like day. we literally would just. This is a big street where we just would set. But we mainly skate over there because the, the street light is here and we didn't want to get interrupted by cars. Yeah, so there. we'd be down there just skating flat ground. Yeah, so we'd be down there and we would. This is also where I started learning more f flat bar tricks because our friend Bryson would set out his flat bar. Yeah. He lives right in front of the school. Yeah, that was my best friend like in middle school. He lived right over there. Best friend until he met me. So. <laughs> he had a flat bar, but we would skate that all the time. And we all like went to this school, so we would just hang out and be like, all right, where are we skating after school? Yeah, this is and our then, high school too. And then after school, we would just either skate, we'd probably end up skating here, or if it was the weekend, we'd go to like Beach Park or Stern or Foothill yeah. or Voorhees. Or... Our options were very limited because we didn't yeah. have a park. And it, it's crazy to think that we were, <laughs> we literally were birthed off the streets to skate. Yeah, the and street. we And then it's opposite, like, as soon as 2010 hit the park, and the skate park, the park hit, got made. everyone was just at the we skate park. We got stuck at the park. Yeah, we got stuck at the park. <laughs> but we learned Stop. a lot of shit. Yeah, we learned. Well, that's the. I guess that's the good part about it. We like literally started learning tricks because I wouldn't have gotten good at rail tricks if that park was never built. I think it would have been a little more challenging to street skate because 2010 I graduated high school and then uh, that park was made in that summer. So literally that park saved my life as in like where I would go while a lot of my friends were still in high school. I would wait for them and then like then we'd go skate uh, film spots and whatnot. But let's go check out the other one. Just drive by it so you can get an idea of like the other set that we would skate and then we'll we'll go to one of the bigger spots that really shaped my skating which we would skate on the weekends. We also used to skate this five stair right oh, here. Oh yeah it never got it was never gated. This five stair right there perfect spot this one right and here the seven stairs where we like still skate to this day actually we still try to skate it but it's perfect for lines you'd skate up the stairs and then go do the seven and there's a little seven stair handrail and we cut off the oh well, someone cut off the kink all that clips like Jer jeremy back in the day would uh, he, we even skated this tennis gap right oh, here yeah we, we cut, cut it up yeah we cut it and, and we, we skated, skated the gap all right so this is only a small piece of it but we used to mob down this whole <laughs> road this whole street. And there was no sidewalk. There was no sidewalk, miles and miles and miles to skate two schools, Stern and Foothill. And sometimes we would get broke <laughs> skating. So like someone would roll their ankle or roll both ankles or whatever. Like that happened before. And then we'd have to like mob home like broken. Like, <laughs> or like if you tried your trick for five hours and didn't land it and you, had to, you were so beat up and you just had to go home like bum. Like, Dude, who were we? <laughs> Like, was that telling, was crazy. I was telling Jeremy, I'm so proud. Like, we literally did the most just for the love. And it's crazy that everyone was so down to always come to this one school that was so far from us. Like, literally, miles, miles walking miles here, miles. it takes like maybe two hours. Maybe. And pushing, oh man, a good solid 30 minutes if you do non-stop but yeah. we would obviously stop and just yeah. like walk and we'd be walking and talk about, about life, life and yeah. shit. <laughs> look that's the four block p-rod skated it i think so much in. famous people have skated it basically a three and a half block if you want to get technical that's true but pretty much a four block in length there's also a nine stair that mowgli skated it's like right there See? you can't here this is a nine stair 
I remember being so scared trying to front lip this and I didn't have a handrail to practice on or a downrail and I literally just did it one night on this downrail at this place we used to call skate night that gave me the confidence to do it on this nine, which is ridiculous Ooh, back in the day. A, a freaking flat bar to a nine, bro. That's insane. Like, what the heck? Dude, this, this... The spots you saw basically have shaped a lot of who I am as a skateboarder. And not only that, but honestly, I'm really proud of the spots here in Bakersfield. Because, like, Bakersfield isn't a big place, but as a skateboarding scene, I'm very thankful for the spots that I grew up skating because it's literally helped me develop a lot of the street skills and uh, just how I think about street skating. So, this is one of my favorite spots. I've literally done a lot of tricks here and it's I've, built my confidence here. I remember like as soon as we'd get here, you, Kika, and Robert would just start sessioning it instantly. Like, I think we'd warm up on Everybody would pick a really hard trick and they would stay here for hours and hours and hours until they got it. And literally, that's like, that was what the crew would do, like, every freaking weekend. Like, we would just come, and like, someone would start hooking it down there. Sometimes nobody would land nothing, sometimes someone would get something crazy. But, but that's how I it went. Just filming. As far as growing up, literally, we would just come. It was a group effort thing. It was, I, like, every time I went street skating, I always had to call people. I, I felt crazy in the morning. Hey, you gonna skate? Hey, you wanna meet us at the bus stop? Hey. Do you have you a go? board? Yeah. Do you have oh, yeah, shoes? Yeah. yeah. Do you have a board? Do you have shoes? <laughs> like, hey, you got an extra? Like, literally, yeah. it was cr the craziest we always thing. Always boards. I oh. felt like the team manager setting was happening at that time before we would go. The night before, hey, why aren't you trying to go? What? Just go. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop playing. Hey, you gonna do that pop shove it off the. the are you gonna do that pop shove it off the four block? I don't got bus money. I don't got food. Bro, I got guy. you. <laughs> Just Stop. go. <laughs> and it was like, it wasn't even like that I cared that they skated it. It's just, I, I felt like the vibes had to be there. We would Everyone mob had to like go. 12 people sometimes on the bus sometimes. And it's crazy because we <laughs> waited the whole weekend for this. This what It was like almost an event. It was yeah, the craziest dude. part. But shout out to everyone, man. Like seriously. So everyone. many people helped because like we would always we would always need boards we would always need shoes <laughs> like like literally if Odyssey, they heard I wasn't skating what why aren't you going <laughs> Odyssey would always help out like I even got free boards from them like it was crazy it was crazy so yeah I I just anyone that's ever helped along the journey for the childhood skate spots thank you man like we out here now look at that I'll, I'll come back and film something new for my video part I am filming a video part so. I'll come do something. Thank you for watching everyone. Like, subscribe, and sign out till next time.